a virtual machine has been created. Now what we need to do is actually go through the install process. First thing we're going to do is tell the machine where to find the DVD. And we're not going to use a physical DVD. We're actually going to use the ISO image. We're going to mount it in the virtual environment and use that for the install. So to do that, click, right click on your new computer, select settings. Then I'm going to go down to storage here. As you can see, I have a little DVD image right there. And to the right of that, there's another DVD image with a drop down arrow. I'll click on that. And this is where you can actually mount your DVD ISO image that you downloaded. Now you can see mine's already in the list, but you can just click the little folder and choose yours. Right there is mine. Click open. And now you can see down here in location, we've actually mounted that DVD in the virtual environment. This would be very much like taking a DVD and putting it into a DVD drive. But we don't have to go through all the burning process, which is really nice and convenient. I'll select OK. Well, actually, before I do that, let me just point out that you want to make sure your network connection is configured correctly. There's nothing wrong with having a NAT connection, but it might be easier if you're on your local network, your home network, that you select bridge mode and then make sure that your uh, controller is selected in the menu. I'll click OK. Alrighty. Next thing we have to do is actually start um, the install process. And to do that, I'm going to actually highlight my virtual machine that I've just created and select the start arrow on top. 